The Storm Team Weather Desk, sponsored by Route 66 Solar. 5-11 on this Monday morning, and we were talking about, uh, I went to Cincinnati over the weekend, yes. so of course I went to the zoo, and I didn't realize how uh, huge zoo. it was. Oh, it's big. Well, yeah. All right, so top three animals you saw at the Cincinnati Zoo. That's a great question, Mark. Thank you. Um, I would definitely say the red panda. Red panda's awesome. Um, penguins are always a good favorite of mine, so I'm going to go with penguins. And third... Oh, wow, I didn't think about this, this one. It's a very obvious answer. You said you were talking about orangutans earlier. You were talking about... Yeah, that one my favorite. Uh, wow, the third one, that, that's a tricky one. I was going to say giraffe, but I don't know about that one. So, <laughs> so I think about that third recommend answer. the Cincinnati Zoo to other people? 100%. Right, if you, you love go. the zoo, I recommend going to the Cincinnati. Oh, no, I'm sorry. The third one was a fox I saw. I don't remember Ooh, what kind it was. Okay. Just to disparage Fiona like this, Alexandria, in front of well, me. Well, he said my oh. third favorite. No, that, like that was it. No, I went to go see it because you kept hyping her up so much. Yeah, it was Fiona was great. Yeah. Nick, today's, your top three today's the type of day, if you're, if you're heading down to the St. Louis Zoo or anything like that, you're going to want to hydrate. The key here, Mark, is to just get out of Illinois for like the next three, <laughs> four days. Get out of the Midwest. Now you tell me. Uh, it's too late. I'd, listen, I would have. it's going to be a brutally hot day. I was talking about it all last week with how nice it was. Come on. You guys knew it was coming. We have switched that weather alert on because of this heat, though. And you can see why a heat advisory in place for central Illinois. Uh, the only spot spots out of this luckily uh looks like my home county here Decatur is going to be uh in Macon County is kind of out of this right now but this heat advisory for today goes into effect at 11 a.m will be in effect until 8 p.m this evening excessive heat warnings you can see that north of us this heat is moving from west to east and the further north you go is honestly where it's a little bit hotter out there for this afternoon. So what it looks like right now, and I do want to point out our feels like temperature, there is a difference already between the actual air temperature and that heat index out there. So 79 in Springfield, that's hot. You'll feel that humidity kind of walking in. Our heat index today, we're well into the 90s by 11 o'clock, which is why that heat advisory goes into effect. And we're in the triple digits essentially all afternoon from 1 p.m. I think basically through 7, 8 p.m. this evening. So when we look at our heat index values coming our way the next couple of days, big changes out there. I do want to talk briefly about the next weather maker just to show you folks at home how sunny it is today. Lots of sunshine. You combine that with that heat index, you're outside, you're sitting in the sun. This is where you need to listen to your body. Make sure you take those precautions. You've got a place that you can go with some shade to at least, but ideally some AC in there that you could get inside. Tuesday is going to be the hottest day of the entire week, potentially the hottest day of the entire year at this point. Certainly the hottest day so far. We're talking upper 90s out there, but feels like temperatures much hotter than that. Brief chances for some storms. That would help us out briefly. Wednesday is very different. Yes, it is still muggy, but at least some clouds in the mix right there. Not going to have quite as much as far as widespread rain chances, but still at least some opportunity out there for some clouds. Wednesday is going to feel better. Tuesday, hottest day of the week, and you can see why an excessive heat watch is in effect. You need to have a feels like temperature of 105 for three hours or longer for a heat watch to be issued, and we will have that. So Tuesday, if you can pick one day to be inside, that is the day. Wednesday, Thursday are a little better. We don't have any excessive heat watches or warnings. Look at the feels like temperature here on Tuesday. We do get some storm chances. Yes, that would cool us down, but you're talking feels like temperatures close to 110 through Tuesday afternoon. That's brutally dangerously hot. So that's why that weather alert is in place. Rest of the week, slight cool down. We're still in the up mid to uh, low 90s outside. That's way warmer than last week. And then finally, just in time for some football, we're going to start cooling off a little bit back into those mid 80s for the weekend. Don't miss a video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel today for more Central Illinois news.